Hi there. In this video we will be installing this ferro faucet. Everything should be ceramic in it. Hopefully they are not lying. Uh, yeah. Not going to be quite easy to read that, will it? Do we not have any sort of English in here? No, we don't. At least some dimensions if you want. I will link it in the description and this is the model BF03A. The most important thing for me was that it needed to be a bit longer because it will be coming on top of this uh, hot tub from the wall so it needs to come more to drip directly there and not on the edge hopefully we'll see. So let's open up this uh, thing and hope uh, we got something decent in here because these days you honestly kind of never know. It also has a connection for the shower and a really important thing that we wanted to not be the type that you pull on something to activate the shower we want it to have this rotate to activate because the ones that you pull on them to activate and to push to deactivate those get stuck really 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 quickly from calcar deposits hopefully this one doesn't get stuck that quickly because in the end it will get stuck but yeah this one in theory should be something similar to a normal faucet just directing water uh, either through here or through there so can we also see it actually working i think we can let me try and show you no we cannot nope sorry we cannot see it working it's doing its job inside that uh, thingy anyway hope all goes well it feels honestly pretty sturdy it's it's really heavy, much heavier than expected. So, let's hope it's also good. In here I think we will have uh, the wall protections to cover up those nasty holes. And the, uh, I don't know, adjustments, because for sure we will not be perfectly aligned. Let's climb everything up and hope for the best. Did the test fit without tightening anything, seems to be in order, the distance between holes is almost good. This is why you need this eccentrix to adjust. Now let's uh, tighten everything in place uh, with uh, uh, that material that you put on the thread. I'm not sure how it's uh, actually called in English. Made uh, another dry fit to make sure this is level with those being fully, I mean not fully tightened, I am adjusting them as I go, obviously with a spanner it seems uh, where is it? 16 mil one goes, but you adjust one, you still need to keep the distance between them fairly equal, so you, yeah, you take one in that direction, take this in that direction, everything moves, get it level. That's the main idea. And now that everything is okay, I will take this off, put these things in place, then uh, obviously put the seals between this and uh, the adjustment itself and we should be good to go. Sealed up. <clears throat> Just touched it. Jesus. Anyway, sealed up the holes in the wall so water doesn't get uh, in there. It's not the nicest uh, silicone job I've ever seen, but hey, that's the trick. Up until now, I'm happy with the quality that I see. Hi there. Uh, this even has partial thread on it. I've seen others that basically just have the metal that's a little bit bent. And this is fairly thick. Again, others are much, much thinner. So, yep. Nothing tells me that uh, this is cheaply made. Hopefully time will uh, also agree.
and honestly it's looking quite good i like it let's put out the run and continue put the rubber seals in their place and now we basically just come in here and tighten uh, the nuts at this point i recommend uh, to tighten these nuts with uh, something on your spanner because uh, otherwise you will scratch everything up and if your wife sees that you are done truth be told this looks really good and seems and feels really good quality so basically at this point i'm continuing with the other video for uh, the rest of the shower because that's from a different brand i will link that in the uh, description but for this one i will continue the video when uh, i don't know i used it for a few months and i know at least a bit about it but i really like it at the moment it's nice even that pictogram with the shower and uh, the bathtub quite cool and feels feels really nice when you are using it shower is in place again video will be in the description it looks quite nice honestly now took the plastic protection off of this thing and it has how many seals two of them so two rubber rings quite thick ones this material seems to be fairly thick i had uh, one at a point in time it was really thin and it just broke off so this seems to be quite okay now the single thing that you need to do is uh, put it in here and be done with it and obviously tighten it you can see some little marks in there where you can tighten it but it might also work by hand we will see now that's a long uh, pipe and looks quite nice feels quite nice hopefully it will do the job and this is being used uh, for a while now yes you can get little marks on it where water remains uh, but we have really hard water in here so I, I wouldn't say it's especially prone to getting marks it's just what you expect from uh, something that is chromed and obviously shiny it's really uh, I wouldn't move that because it will uh, come in my head so let me put the shower right here it's really easy to change from one to the other I kind of like this compared to the ones that you pull this thing moves really easily so yeah in my opinion it's a really good quality uh, faucet or tap or whatever you want to call it and I do recommend it. I have seen absolutely zero problems with it whatsoever up until now. And yeah, that's about it for this video. Hope it helps you. In which case, please give it a like. Check out my other videos. And uh, as I said, links for all of these will be in the description. See you in the next one. Bye.